Oh my goodness, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm sipping on some pineapple juice and coconut water. Getting in all the vitamins and minerals. Because as you can tell probably by my voice, I'm getting over the worst cold I've ever had in my life. I don't know what it was. Um, I do know it was so bad. I don't know if it hit me harder because I'm pregnant or what, but as you have been able to tell, this pregnancy, I have picked up every single bug or illness that has gone around. I've had the stomach flu twice. I've had three very bad head colds and still have quite some time to go, but needless to say, between that, me being sick, um, in the last video that I filmed, I felt like my son was starting to get sick or teething. He wasn't, in fact, sick. He was really only that bad. Like, he was only rough, in rough shape for one day. Um, and then the other two days was just, like, coffee snotty. And so I chalked it up to, like, a normal head cold, and then I got it. And I was hit so much harder than him. My throat was in so much pain. Um terrible cough we still all have like a really mucusy cough <clears throat> i had like body aches my ribs and back were sore from coughing so much running my nose i was my nose was running so bad and i was blowing it constantly to where i lost my entire sense of smell because my entire inside of my nose was raw so it was just really bad i was sick sick for about five days straight and i had my glucose test in the middle of that um pregnancy appointments things like that you still have you know the show still goes on I was still taking care of my toddler um yeah but now I'm finally better Austin's starting to get it now <laughs> so today is Saturday and I kind of thought it would be fun to vlog my weekend um I don't know how much vlogging I'll get to do just with like Austin being sick me still kind of being sick but my son is napping. He's been napping for almost an hour and I've been just like cleaning up our room because our room has been where I've been like just basically like down for the count in here. It's covered in tissues, dirty laundry. There's like teacups everywhere because we've been drinking so much tea. Uh, I basically just, it looks like a hospital in here. Like there is just medicine everywhere, tissues, trash, hydration stuff, like it's a mess and so I took my sheets off threw those in the wash just now and I'm gonna run the vacuum in here I just put a bunch of laundry away and then I'm gonna take all the dishes down so I thought it would be fun to like vlog me resetting the house um I also want to drop off all my donations that I've been slowly collecting for like just like simplifying my house and stuff before baby number two comes which is so soon I cannot even believe it um but yeah, I also need to like meal plan and I just kind of want to get like myself back in a good headspace because between being sick and then like we just had like a really off week the week before, our house is kind of in shambles because we were in the middle of redoing our flooring downstairs when we got hit with this bug. So everything is just a mess and I just want to take like a day to reset. So I would love to like sit and meal plan write out groceries and then possibly even go grocery shopping but that'll be depending on how Austin is feeling because I don't really love to take my toddler grocery shopping in the store with me it's just like I feel like I always forget things because I'm so focused on him and it's just not my favorite task to do I just realized there is a dead spider on the wall right above my headboard let's get to it I don't want to waste any more time because he's actually asleep I'm going to run the vacuum in my room and then I guess we'll head downstairs and see what kind of cleaning needs done down there. I really need to clean Bellamy's room as well, but he's napping right now, so that's not going to happen while he's asleep, but let's do it. I have to say, I don't know how bad my voice sounds, like I'm so used to it sounding like this now because I lost my voice completely this week, but I promise you I feel like 100% better. <laughs> I just don't sound like I do. Um, so, just, just wanted to say that. Right after I finished 
vacuuming I was about to go downstairs and then I remembered I have not like deep cleaned we have a tile shower now in our bathroom it's like a really old school tile shower but I have not like scrubbed it in a hot minute so I'm gonna get in there and scrub it because it's looking disgusting and I don't know about you guys but it's like the one thing I just forget to clean I'll clean our toilets and stuff but I forget about the shower so I'm gonna get it done while I'm thinking about it that bathroom was he's still sleeping so I'm gonna meal plan and write my grocery list I usually just get on Pinterest or look through my recipe books and get that done really quick try to think of some like different meals to make this week that'll actually go further too because it's just not attainable right now to cook a fresh dinner every single night so I'm going to try to make some that are bigger meals that'll at least give us leftovers for lunch or dinner the next night. can see me but I'm heading to the grocery store and this is the safest view that I can give you so this is the view you're gonna get um is there anything sadder than watching your toddler cry as you pull out of the driveway no it's hard leaving them when they're a baby and then it gets even harder leaving them when they're a toddler because they can like protest a little bit more Ugh. but I'm running to the grocery store I have my whole list made Hopefully I only get what's on it and I feel good about having like actual meals planned. Thankfully Austin's feeling okay enough that he said I could run because I'll probably only be gone for a half hour to an hour and then I'll get home and I will resume mom duty because he got up from his nap. I switched our sheets over into the dryer before I left too so. Okay, I'm at a stop sign or a stoplight but I got the goods but that was quite the hassle. I got all the way through the checkout. Trader Joe's was so busy, and then I didn't have my debit card, which is like really weird. I always have my debit card. Tried Apple Pay, that didn't work, so I had to put it on the credit card, which is just annoying. Then I had to go into Target because Trader Joe's doesn't sell trash bags and foil and stuff, and Target was a madhouse. But on my way back home, I've been gone about an hour. That was longer than I wanted to be gone. I got some new snacks. Do you want to see what I got? after my hair appointment and I wore your North Face jacket. I thought maybe I would have thrown my card right in the pocket. But I usually would have taken it out. I just checked and it's not in there. I love getting groceries, but the worst part is like cleaning out your fridge so you have room for them. So I need to do that first, and then I'll have dishes to do. Then I can put everything away. All with a toddler at my feet. toddler or your baby just wakes up on the wrong side of the bed and everything is a big meltdown that is how today is going we've been up for an hour and I literally haven't even made breakfast or anything I've literally just made it out of his room because he just wanted to be like held and play with my hair and just kept crying hard 
Anyways, so it's just like those mornings, sometimes I don't mind them because I can just take it slow, but it's like, I don't know, it can be frustrating when you don't know why they're crying. It's just they woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Today is Sunday and normally at this time we would be leaving for church, but because I'm still sounding sick and Austin's just now getting sick, we just felt like it was best to not go and spread this to everybody at church, so we are staying home today, um, which I'm sad about, but we'll watch the live stream and hopefully be totally fine and better to, by next week so that we can be together with everybody again. Um, I just, there's like a lot of families at our church and little kids and I would hate to just let this sickness go through the whole church, so. Staying home, um, just doing a quick skincare. I'm gonna make my bed. I just tossed a Trader Joe's quiche in the oven for an easy breakfast, and I'm gonna make some tea for Austin and I, and take you through my Sunday. This isn't an average Sunday, because usually we would be going to church, but I'll take you through it anyways. <laughs> keeping a hamper right in front of my washer um, to help me like bring all the dirty laundry down here instead of <coughs> instead of keeping it all over the house and then I get behind um, but yeah let's do some laundry day that last night when I came downstairs Austin had cleaned the entire house and it was just the way to my heart after a long day and I know he didn't feel good, but it was just the best to not have to wake up to like a messy house today or stay up late doing it last night. Do you want more? Here, I'll get you some more. Just watching church, and it's actually a beautiful sunny day outside. I did not tell on camera, but the backyard is so sunny. And I think we're gonna bundle up and go on a walk as a family. And then when we get back, it'll be time for Bellamy's nap. So I'm going to grab him some clothes, get myself dressed, and go enjoy the weather. Thank you. 
super nice. And then I got back, got back and put Belly down for his nap. And now I would really like to go finish painting the sunroom because I need to have it done before his birthday party. But I haven't uploaded on YouTube in two weeks now. Obviously, you guys know why now. Just from us being sick and life's been crazy. So I had started editing a video a couple days ago. Um, and I haven't finished it, so I'd like to sit in bed for a minute, try to finish that up. And then maybe I'll get a chance to... Um, paint a little bit later. It's so nice outside. It's always so nice to sit in my room and work because it's really sunny in here during the day and so I like try to take advantage of it when I can. But it feels good that I did all my grocery shopping yesterday and I've already like planned my meals for the week. Um, I was telling Austin it just like takes such a mental load off of me and even like the simple act of him last night um, while I was putting Bellamy down to bed I was not expecting Austin to do anything. Usually we split the load, like whoever doesn't put the baby to bed will clean up the house and then like when that person is done putting the baby to bed, we'll come out and finish it together and come up to bed together. We've just found that that's like how we can both get in bed at the same time and like actually have time together. And I knew that he was sick and so last night I was expecting to like him to rest while I put Bellamy to bed and when I came out, um, the house was like totally clean and I didn't have to do anything. I just showered and got in bed and I told him it was just like so nice to wake up on a Sunday and really like we have nothing really to do. Like I did my laundry yesterday, washed our sheets. I might just casually do some laundry today, but like it's just nice to like enjoy Sundays as a family and like um, spend time together and worship the Lord and actually like take a rest day. That's something I'd really like to do this year is like have a Sabbath day, especially once we bring baby number two into the world. Okay, Mr. Man is up from his nap. We had some lunch and stuff, and now I think I'm going to clean out his water table in the backyard so that we can go play with it for a little bit because I want to be outside because it's actually beautiful. I made myself my first coffee in forever. And it's actually so good, which makes me very happy because I have not been liking my coffee, let alone my coffee at home lately. Um, so let's go do that. This will be a really nice way to get him outside. He's already trying to put his hat on and stuff. So I'm going to go scrub it because it's been sitting out in the winter months and it's got some yucky mildew in it. Okay guys, that is going to be it for this video. I know this was kind of a boring one, um, but it was just the realistic view of, you know, our week this week being sick and just getting things back together and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm really excited to start filming more videos now that we're feeling better and I am in nesting mode in my third trimester and hoping to do some more pregnancy and baby updates as well. But I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. Make sure you go out of your way today to love on someone and make them feel extra special just because they are. And I will catch you guys in the next one.